Hi, in this tutorial we're going to see how to determine how much free space is available on your device or simulator using Apache Cordova, PhoneGap, uh, or Ionic Framework. But in particular we're going to use the baseline and just use Apache Cordova in this example. Uh, if you're a follower of my YouTube channel you'll know that I haven't done any videos in a while. Uh, that's because I've been recovering from a jaw surgery and I have not been able to talk. Um, so bear with me if I'm a little hard to understand still. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and create a new Apache Cordova project uh, right on our desktop with our command with our terminal. So let's go ahead and enter the following. All right, so it went ahead and created one on our desktop. So in our text editor, let's go ahead and open up that project. It is test project. We're just gonna go ahead and open up the www folder. Now you know what, we can open up the, the root folder, it's fine. All right, so you'll notice that I already have my simulator up and we can see that the total space available is 4.75 gigabytes. So we're going to try to see if we can see that via an app. So let's go ahead and open our uh, index.js file. It's, we're going to keep this pretty baseline. So the first thing that we want to do before we start editing code is we want to install the Apache Cordova file plugin. So that can be done by doing the following. So when we navigate into our project, we run Cordova plugin add org.apache.cordova.file. I already made a boo-boo. So what we want to do is we want to first install the Cordova platform add Android. We want to go ahead and add a platform before we start adding plugins. You can go ahead and add the iOS platform too. I'm just going to stick strictly uh, Android for this example. So let's go ahead and add the uh, Cordova plugin just in case it wasn't automatically added when we added our platform. All right, it says that it installed it for Android. So with that installed, let's go ahead and into our JavaScript code. Oops. We are going to go into the on uh, device ready. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, we could, we could just throw it in here right here. in the on device ready. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to do cordova.exec and this is just a baseline cordova command because the file plugin does not have any documented way to check for uh, free space available. So we've got to go and use a little bit of a hack method but it does work pretty well. So cordova exec and then we're going to include a uh, function for our success callback that's going to be, uh, it's going to return a result. And then we're going to go ahead and include a function for our error callback. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reference the file. And we are going to reference the following method, get free disk space, just like that. And then just go ahead and include uh, an empty and array because there's no parameters that we're going to include into this function. So what we want to do now is we want to do an alert. And we're going to say free space available. I'm going to say result. And then on the error, we're going to say alert error. And then we're going to say into the error here, so that way we can see what happened. So, if all went well, we should be able to see the free disk space on our device. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's do Cordova build Android. It's almost done building.
All right, with it built, let's go ahead and install it now. ABB install R, and then platforms, Android, and build, and then Cordova app that debug. All right, it is now installed in the app, or in the simulator. So let's go ahead and see what values we get when we launch it. All right, so it gave us this big, long, wacky number here. Uh, this is actually in kilobytes. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and make uh, a conversion. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We're going to say result, uh, what is it, a thousand? Something like that. It'll give us a rough number. And that will convert it into megabytes if we want uh, that, which is a little bit a little easier to read than kilobytes. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and rebuild it. It shouldn't take as long this time. And then we're going to reinstall it, and we are going to open it. And as you can see, I mean, the, the number that our simulator gave us in settings was about 4.75 gigabytes, uh, which is rough, roughly this. It, uh, it depends on how, what kind of math, was, what kind of values they divided by in the simulator. It could have been maybe uh, 1,024. Um, but this is close enough. It'll give you a general idea. And in case you're downloading media files ex uh, from a remote web server, uh, when someone installs your app, maybe you've made a game and you want to install all of the music and, uh, I don't know, image files, you can first check to see if they have the available space before you try to download uh, three gigabytes worth of your data. I don't, that, that's usually the best case scenario for it. But as you can see, we went ahead and we used the Cordova exec and we installed, the, uh, we used this uh, hidden function of the file plugin. Um, maybe one day it'll be documented uh, as a real function. Uh, but until then, this is a perfectly suitable um, way to use it.